Good morning, my YouTube family, and um, welcome to my another Saturday morning face. <laughs> um, my name is Gina. If this is the first time you watch my video, I uh, came across this channel. I want to welcome you. And uh, this channel I used to uh, dedicate to share the downloads, the realizations, uh, some of my podcast episodes, and things like that. So today, I feel like I want to talk about um, the energy you felt that intimidated you, right? We all in our lives come across so many people and so many people you feel, you know, you're more easy to talk to, connect to, and certain people you just feel they are not easy to talk to. Uh, maybe their energy is so strong, but you don't know. You're just like, whoa, this person seems elegant. This seems uh, she's not want to talk to me for whatever reason. So this is my uh, one of my personal experience, and I want to share with you guys to see uh, whether you're aware of that and how to navigate that. So I remember years, years, years ago, probably can trace back to 15, 18 years ago. And uh, I was in China. I was uh, on a you know, management team. I remember that was my boss or my manager would say, um, not my direct boss, uh, not my big boss, but direct boss. He one time told me, he's like, Gina, uh, you know, your energy is so strong. Not a man, many men would dare too close to you. I was like, what you talking about? What did I do? He's like, you don't have to do anything. That's the energy you carry. Is that something that make a, a lot of men, you know, they will, they, will, they will curious about you, but they will not approach you. That time I didn't understand. I thought I was something wrong with me, you know, and I tried to, I actually I did some silly things. I feel like now when I look back, um, maybe I I think I did it was uh, intentionally dressed differently, you know, more feminine, <clears throat> because when I heard a word too strong, intimidating, you know, uh, people afraid, and I was like, oh maybe it's me, so I try to kind of tune down a little bit, you know, I feel like I can't speak up that much because if I'm already didn't just be me, it's already a lot to a lot of people. So if I talk more, talk loud, you know, show my more my perspective, opinion, what idea, whatever, it, it will even more threat people, right? Threatening people. That's how I felt. And um, years, 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 every time I feel like I need to speak up or I have a, something inside my heart or something I feel like I want to express that little voice always remind like reminding me Gina don't you forget that you you know one of your boss one time mentioned this this shadow w was with me for years 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 and you probably three years ago yes not until three years ago also on my own healing journey and uh, the more we working on how to shine your own light, how to um, clean, reclaim your own power, how to recognize yourself, and how to, you know, you know. Why don't I say reclaim your power? Not mean the power you use to cut people, the power you use to control people. The what to, the power I mean is be a sovereign being. Be free, be okay to express, to do the things you want to do, to say, to say things you want to say based on your heart frequency, on this love, compassion, um, with the good intention. With the, I wouldn't want to say, when I say good intention, which means there's some bad intention, but with the intention for your highest grace good, right? So, in the last three years, I realized uh, that I I was afraid. I have the fear of other people judging me. I have the fear of threatening people. I have a fear of people don't like me, right? 
I would say I had, and now I don't really. Uh, well, I will tell you guys why. That's why you guys come across this channel. I say whatever, whatever from my heart. My message is not there all there to put people down. My message all there to is to encourage people to let you know that we all went through those trench. We all went through this doubting, uh, questioning, believe the other people and question ourselves. Okay. But like I said, if uh, things are come from your heart, it's for for your highest grace good and for other people's highest grace good. And you know inside your heart that you now have agenda to, to take people down. You now have the agenda to try to attack people. You now have agenda to show the superior of your existence. Then you are free to express because whatever you say, I guarantee you, what. Ever you say even the nice nicest thing kindest thing you say when you say it depends on the receiving part their own energy they will interpret your message in a thousands way okay why I say that you know one day you wear one piece of your beautiful clothing all there right you feel so good you go all there you trust me you go ask a hundred people I can guarantee you have few people that they don't like the style. But the point is, is not they like or not. Because everybody is from different perspective, different cultural thing, different taste, different value. They like different colors. They like different style. So it doesn't matter how perfect you want to be for the style, for the whatever things you want to express. There's always people have different voices, which is okay, which is shows the beauty of the world, which is everybody have their own own opinion, right? But now the point is not have everybody to agree with you. The point is, are you agree with yourself? Are you knowing what you are expressing, what you're doing? That's the most important because you think about it. If every single person in the whole world, they start from within to know who they are, to express the way that they believe, they trust, they have, uh, you know, strong faith in, then everybody will be in their the strongest uh, soul frequency and everybody's in their divine sovereignty. What does that be beautiful? Now, however, right now, as you can tell, that a lot of us are not comfortable to show who we are. Because we are afraid of how people judge us. We are afraid of people, how people think us. We are afraid of how people, whether they like us or not. We, we are afraid of whether we can fit in, right? That is the problem. The problem is not external. The problem is internal, right? And now when are we back to this intimidating energy, how I transform, how I see, and how you navigate it. If you realize there are people, either people will share with you. I had so many people. Even now, I mean, or I know I say every day, probably every week or every other week, once a while, people will come to me, tell me, Gina, first time I met you, I just got intimidated by you. And uh, <laughs> now I start laughing because after I went through so many of these scenarios, I understand why I, I tell them, I was, a, I was like, thank you for sharing with me. And if you are sharing with me now, which means my energy does not intimidate you anymore, right? Uh, but I want to explain the process. So when you feel intimidated by other people, which means this person's energy is a little bit strong. Maybe this person is super confident. Maybe this person is free to express, have this passion, have the power. They know what to say they're saying. They are very excited for what they are sharing with you. Not in a way of ego, not in a way of you have to accept or not. It's generally from their heart. They know, they have confidence. They know what they're doing. They know what they're saying. They feel passionate about the things in their life. They're good about themselves. And you're like, why? When people are good about themselves will threat other people's, you know, how they feel about it. It's because, listen carefully. It's because this energy that is a person that emitting this strong, beautiful, confident energy that you also have inside of yourself. However, because you have not recognized that energy inside of you, 
you still hold judgment, you still hold the fear from past experience that people once judged you, or somehow that you are not ready for this powerful energy inside of you, you also carry. That's why you will lead to when other people show this energy in front of you, you will you you will feel you will feel intimidated because you don't know you are scared of when you are in power. You're not ready for that power that's inside of you that you also carry inside of you. So when somebody carries this energy in front of you, they so super confident. You scared. Not many people can be freely share what they want to say, right? And the question I ask you is that if if the scenario was you felt people this energy is threatening you or make you feel intimidated, the question I'm gonna ask you is actually, do you feel you can freely, without other people, uh, without caring other people think of you, you can free express your words through your uh, speak, through your artwork, through your uh, video posts and. Uh, and a uh, um, normal post on social media, or you can freely tell people how you feel about uncertain thing, your perspective. Okay, if for either area you say, uh, not really. I might share with my best friend, but I don't want to post certain post out there. You know stuff. Then that's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, just one side of. The question I want to ask you. So the second question I want to ask you is that if you feel me, my energy is intimidated, it's gonna intimidate you. I would ask you, who do I remind remind you of? Who do I remind you of? And uh, what do I remind you of? Okay, this question probably a little bit hidden. You might not gonna find an answer right away. But sometimes, my energy, or not just my energy, certain people's energy make you feel intimidated. Actually, you can probably gonna remind you certain people in your childhood carry similar energy, and is how they show up made you feel not good enough, made you feel small, made you feel not confident, made you feel whatever it is that you went through. That's why also sometimes. The energy, similar energy, shows up in your life. Going to trigger that part of memory that reminds you that version of you that she was not confident. She did it, you know, couldn't couldn't say what she wanted to say. She might be judged, or you know, whatever it is, the scenario. So it could run really deep. But I, the point of this video I want want to share with you is when other people's energy, you felt other people's energy <clears throat> intimidated you, it's not about this person. If I intimidate you, it's not about me. It's the energy I carry. So do not take it personal. So for the people, if people tell me that my energy intimidated them, I don't take it personal because I know it's not about me. It's about my energy, okay? And um, also, if I feel intimidated by this person, on my end, I don't want to take a personal. I'm gonna ask myself who this person reminded me, what this person reminded me, and why the energy I feel intimidated. You know, use the words to describe this person's energy and ask myself, how do I see this energy in my body? Do I accept this energy? Do I welcome this energy? How do I love this energy? Do I judge this energy? Okay, so because it came across so many different times. And the, 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 the interesting thing is when a lot of time, when you trigger people, especially because your energy is so strong, because you know who you are, you're confident, you're good. Uh, the people got triggered. They usually, they don't know. No. The funny part is sometimes you will not know when you get triggered. You just feel annoyed sometimes. Why this person talks so much? Why she has so much thing to say, right? You feel annoyed. You don't know this intimidating. Well, you will not use that intimidation right away. You just feel annoyed. I just don't want to listen to her. I just she's just uh, too much. She's uh, why she's bitching around it all the time. Not just bitching around. She's just like talking. You know, how come she has all this stuff she want to say, right? 
she's too much just shut up you know those are the feelings okay so <laughs> that's called intimidating okay um that's mixed a lot of other feelings inside so i just want to remind you guys if you have similar experience if people told you that you intimidate them or you got intimidated by other people you had a similar experience please share a comment below i want to see how you navigate it. are you aware or were you how do you aware of where you're at and how you navigated that okay hope this video helps and uh, um i know i did not post so many videos recently because it's super super busy and i'm trying to wrapping up this busy season and uh, put my event together so um I'm doing my best, but if you want to uh, know a little bit more about me, because this is for the video channel, but I post daily, probably almost daily on Instagram and Facebook. So Instagram is Gina Anayana. I think the link is below. And uh, not, no, the, actually, the, yeah, you can find me at Gina Anayana on Instagram or Goddess Intention. Actually, Goddess Intention is my Instagram handle. Uh, you can find me on Facebook is Gina Anayana or Inner Sensory Healing or Unity Through Diversity is my podcast. So I talk to you guys soon and love you guys. Okay, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It seems it's going to rain today, but I love it.